my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from today's title, we have a new type of series coming to the channel. This is my video, the first video in my series about products at the pound shop and what I think of them. I'm going to try out a lot of different products, creams, makeups, nail polishes, um, just a whole wide array of things. And some of the things I will do comparisons to other products, um, higher end products, things like that, to see how they actually compare. So what I want to do today, as you can see, is I'm going to show you some of the products that I have already that I've bought in the pound shop that I want to actually do reviews on. So the first one is actually a nail product. And this is by Sally Hansen, which does get a very good reputation. Um, this is the Salon Insta Gel Strips. So this is two easy steps with up to two weeks wear, chip resistant, mirror shine. Um, it's as must use with mini LED lamp, okay? So obviously I have LED lamps and everything anyway, so um, I didn't need to worry about that. But obviously for people who are going in and thinking, oh, this is great for a pound in the pound shop, and then realize that they have to spend more. Anyway. I will show you what the items look like. So we have, this is the gel top coat. It's a shake well on it, which is something that you tend not to do with most gels. But anyway, you then get um, two nail cleansing pads. You get a file which has a buffer and an emery board and an orange wood stick. <clears throat> We then have two of these wee packets of strips. So I'm assuming, um, how many does it say there is in it? 16 gel polish strips. So you get one application. Weird. It's weird that there's only 16. Anyway, that'll be enough for me to see what I think of them. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I have nothing on my nails at the minute. I may try this out this weekend, or I may try and wait until my nails have grown out a bit. Um, I did cut them all down. I lie, I bit them. I was so stressed out, I just sat and bit my nails. Anyway, so the next thing I saw, I was really excited to try. This is a pucker pod. And as you can see, it does resemble the likes of EOS and Balmy Nip, nip Balms. What is a Nip Balm? Anyway, a Lip Balm. So I wanted to try this out. I, my niece got one of these as well. So I got the strawberry one. I can't remember what flavor she got. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I am mad about lip balms and things like that because my lips get incredibly dry all the time because I do get easily dehydrated. So um, I'm excited to try this out and see what I think of it. On the um, idea of lip balms, we also picked up this lip care and this is an intensive lip care gel patch. So it says it has shea butter, cranberry extract, vitamin E to, sell, to help soothe. I can never say help soothe properly first time. I always say self. To help soothe and hydrate lips. So I'm looking forward to trying this out as well. I also got myself a hand mask which it says it's soothing and nourishing. Penetrates quickly and deeply for much improved skin tone and texture. Rich emollient moisture for rough dry skin. It feels quite thick in there, so the gloves must be really coated and stuff. Um, so you keep them on for half an hour. I also got an argan oil one for my feet. So this says it's an argan oil intensive treatment boots. Or, sorry, argan oil intensive treatment boots are enriched with argan oil and shea butter to penetrate deep into the skin to reduce callus buildup and help repair and soften cracked and split heels. So looking forward to trying that out as well. Next item I got, I was actually quite intrigued about is hydrate and nourish fingernail masks. So it says hydrate and nourish fingernail mask is a convenient way to help care for out of condition nails and cuticles. The mask is pre-moistened with an active formula enriched with natural oils including argan, jojoba, almond and fruit extracts of orange, strawberry and coconut. A specially designed blend to provide your fingernail with the moisture and nutrients required to help, feel, help them feel strong and healthy. So I thought this would be a really cool thing to have to try out and see what I think of it. Um, 
and if I thought it was good it would be something that I would actually put in wee care packs for clients and stuff and um, the last thing I wanted to try I, I don't even know what possessed me to buy this but it is a lip tattoo I just wanted to see how good or how rubbish these actually were so so that's everything for now I do want to get some makeup as well I know I did a makeup one before but that was more well-known brands that were just in the pound shop. I want to do the pound shop's own brand. I can't think what the name of it is right now, but they do have quite a lot of different products. So I want to do a full face of makeup at the pound shop. I'm also going to get some of the, like their eye creams and skin creams and stuff. I want to try those out. Um, also think I want to do some hauls from B&M stuff to show what we can actually, sorry, I just cracked my knuckles, um, see what we can actually purchase at B&M because there seems to be a lot of things. I've seen Maybelline Big Eyes for like $3.99 or something in B&M recently. So it would be good to share that kind of stuff as well. Anyway guys, I love you all so much. Let me know in the comments below what goodies have you got in the pawn shop. What do you think I should be trying next? And let me know what you're most excited to see. Love you all. Bye.